Great win and a stellar performance from you tonight. Are you encouraged by how you played? Yeah, you know, we, wanted, we didn't want to give this game away, so I took it upon myself to make sure we didn't. You know, at this point, there are no excuses. It's time to put up or shut up, and there are no moral victories in this league. And you got the win tonight in large part because of your scoring. Mm -hmm. What did you see in the defense tonight that really made you salivate? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, they were guarding me one-on-one -on -one for the most part of the game. You know, that's a joke. Maybe they haven't heard yet, but they better send two and hope that works. But it probably won't. <laughs> well, you don't lack for confidence, that's for sure. Congratulations. Nigga! point of the season, Gray, many coaches still are maneuvering their lineups, trying to find the right formula. Yeah, especially the younger team. There's no real established pecking order, and guys can be wildly inconsistent from night to night. A look at the Bulls' starting lineup. The wing set for him, Levine and DeRozan. Vucevic is out there with Green, and it's Junior in at the guard position. Here's Smart. outside pass to Tatum lets the free fly and it's Gallinari missing well it was the Boston Celtics winning their last game against Cleveland you know those road games are tricky but, but they had a good strategy going in and stuck to what they do best yeah, despite the challenges of being away from home, they were able to execute cleanly and look really fresh out there. And Marcus Smart, GA, the very definition of a guy you love on your team, but hate to play against. Yeah, and teams that go deep need that sort of presence. Smart is more than just an agitator, though. Great player who anyone would want to play alongside. Now, here's Junior. Against Charlotte, he was really on his game. Kicks it to Levine. Shot clock at five. Here's Junior. The Bulls keep it alive. Here's Vucevic. Nice follow through on the fadeaway. Can't afford to let Vucevic get comfortable. He's content to take these shots whenever the D gives him up. Passes it to Horford. Smart deciding where to go with it. Banked in off the glass. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. You gladly take those. And that was the mobile one drive. Well worth a second look. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. And it's Gallinari missing. You often expect him to convert these types of shots, but the D must have made their presence felt to prevent that one. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. The Celtics have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. I now I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. I was able to talk with Emi Udoka for a minute. They have won their one matchup against this team so far. But he said the first order of business was for them to score against a very tough shot-blocking team inside. He said in a game like this, you can't turn down perimeter looks. They could be the key to victory. We'll see if he's right, Kevin. We appreciate that, David. Thanks. Yeah, that defense, something to be reckoned with. Greg, we'll see how it plays out. Well, it's important to be patient. The other team's going to take certain things away. Just keep probing, trying to find that weakness. And you have to remember, you're going to have some tough stretches scoring the ball tonight. Just keep a cool head and don't force things. Now, here's Junior, guarded by Smart. Oh, Vucevic in position, throws down the alley-oop slam. 
a high IQ player. Vucevic has that sixth sense for when to cut after screening for a teammate. Now, here's Brown. Last game out, 36 points for him. Tatum gets the bucket. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Vucevic, and the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Assist from Vucevic has got six. Number nine. Always a battle when you're up against Vucevic. His soft touch helps him convert inside. Tatum against DeRozan. Tatum kicks to Smart. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. He has seven. And good to get him going early. That, that shot should give him some confidence. It makes a difference for them if he can Number establish 19. his three-point shot as a weapon. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Salinari outside. Fast to block. Now here's Tatum. In the corner, smart with it. Well, good with the triple. And so it's DeRozan. He'll bring it up for the Bulls. Their last encounter was in Chicago. And turnovers were the story for them when they saw each other last. I mean, just a heartbreaking way to lose the game. Well, he's a bit undersized for a four. He more than makes up for it with his balance. Alinari on the wing. There's the pass to Tatum. Back to Gallinari. Tatum deciding where to go with it. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Here's Smart. And it's Chicago with the rebound. To the middle. Gallinari with the steal. Pass to Tatum. On the wing, Brown. And it's Junior with the rebound. The Bulls leading by three. Well, after their offense stalled in the finals, the Celtics getting some veteran help. Gallinari and Brogdon both bring shooting, and Brogdon's another playmaker on the floor. Smart kicks to Gallinari. Pass to Tatum. Horford up top. Trying to get something going. Rebound by the Bulls. Vucevic has got his fourth rebound in this one. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. Yeah, just nice strength there. And then just off with the shot. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. The first one falls. Malcolm Brogdon's checked in for Gallinari. So he gets them both. Celtics trail by seven. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. Good timeout, if you ask me. They have the momentum, and Coach wants to find a way to try and stop. Once again, for Celtics Entertainment. And so it's Boston with it. Smart. The shot's good. Brown making the play. And it's nine points for Marcus Smart. Looks like it could be a big night for him. Very strong start here in the first quarter. Now, here's Junior. Guarded by Smart. Yep, that Nicole one goes in there. Vucevic has got eight points. And this Number has been 19. a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now, oh, here's Brown. Oh, my goodness, the slam! Was it just me, or was there a little bit extra on that slam by Brown? And a look at the mobile one drive. Driving right into your living room. 
That's an incredible move by him on what's been an impressive night all around. He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. The Bulls have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. Williams, he's checked in for the Celtics. Jackson comes in for Tatum. Andre Drummond's checked in for Chicago. Paul comes in for Zach Levine. We throw good, Junior. Celtics trail by eight. Outside, smart. Jackson from long range. That one doesn't drop. Now Chicago takes it the other way. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. Yeah, I mean, we saw them do a little bit of everything in that game. Showed a lot of versatility. It really is fun seeing an offensive function like a well-oiled machine. I'll be interested to see if they can keep doing this. So it's the Celtics now. After the Bulls pick up two. Back to Smart. Outside to Brogdon. Smart trying to break free. That's good from Brogdon. On the assist from Smart. Smart's got three assists in the game. Now, here's Junior. Started by Smart. Drummond dishes to Junior. Williams with the block. And he gets it back. Vujovic finds ball. Some nice ball movement here by the Bull. Vujovic trying to get open. And that one's good, Junior. Yeah, how about the vision there by Ball? Showing the unselfishness, just being a willing passer. Pass to Williams. On the wing ground. Vucevic against Jackson. Here's Brown. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. And each year, it seems Brown keeps getting better at shooting the ball, especially from the mid-range. And that one's good, Junior. You want to know why they're winning? It's because of his play offensively. Celtics trail by nine. And the pass to Jackson. It's Brogdon on the wing. Shot clock at six. Off target with his three. And it's DeRozan with the ball for the Bulls. Here's Junior. Jalen Brown with the rebound. The Celtics have gone 50% from the field in the first quarter, 8 of 16. And how about Jalen Brown, part of that young core for the Celtics? Yeah, he's been through a lot with this young group of guys. They've grown together, they've come in together, and they've gotten better together. And you've seen the production of Brown increase because of it. Alex Caruso, he's checked in for Junior. He's checked in for Williams. Alinari comes in for Justin Jackson. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Brown. And Derek White subbed in for Malcolm Brogdon. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Derek Green, he's checked in for Drummond. Green comes in for DeMar DeRosa. Junior's checked in for Ball. And it's Dosumu in for Alex Caruso. Smart is the point. White is on the wing. Jason Tatum is out there. Gallinari. And it's Horford in at the five down low. That's the Boston five. For Chicago, they have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. In your younger days, RJ, you had seasons where you averaged over 22 points a game. Some players uh, later in their careers struggle accepting smaller roles, different roles. As a player, talk about that challenge. Self-confidence is a weird one. Sometimes it can work great for you, and sometimes it can work against you. For me personally, as I got older, I loved 
finding the challenge, and the challenge was how could I star in my role? Was it as a 10-point-a-game score? Was it as a 20-point-a-game score? Or was it as a 5-point-a-game score? Because ultimately, you have a chance to have an impact on the game, and I love basketball, so I was going to take any role you were going to give me. What a great answer. You, so in other words, you've always got to evolve. You always get to evolve, and it's always going to be adapt or die, especially as you get older. You have to adapt or your career is going to end. I would have never played 17 years if I didn't adapt. Derek White was only six feet in high school. No D1 schools even offered a scholarship. Derek ended up at a D2 school, but White had a major growth spurt up to six four. Transfers to a D1 school, the Spurs take him late in the first. What a crazy path to the lead. Now here's White. Zach Levine unable to get his last shot to go. Here's Gallinari. Shooting foul Ball. as the whistle blows. Yo, He'll shoot two free throws. Three. First personal Consistent foul. at looking to the score. Gallinari knows how to put pressure on the defenders and Getting earn low. that call. Now the free throw is good. Now leading by one. It's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay from the line. Now, here's Junior. He's guarded closely. To the inside, Green. That one dropped for his second bucket. Work him two for four. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Here's Gallinari. Good and Smart gets the assist. Smart's got four assists in the game. That scoreless first quarter, that might have woke him up, and he's turned it on here in the second. Now, here's Dosumu. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Junior the pass to Levine. And he gets the bucket. And the bull lead by one. What determination from Levine. Finding his finish despite the contact. Awesome display of athleticism captured by your AT&T 5G Slam Camp. White looking around. Back to Smart. Tatum kicks to White. That shot is off. Great tee that time from Green. And boy, have they been hitting Number the 19. backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising. It's such a tight game. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks, guys. Now, Marcus Smart is not shy with his philosophy. He says it takes little talent to play defense, but a whole lot of want to. Get every 50-50 ball, take charges, be a great teammate, compete, never be okay with losing. Kevin, he has always walked the walk, too. He has. Defensive player of the year. He's a terrific player. No question about it. David, thank you. And looking at that replay again, just a big-time block right there. And that is a huge block. Given how close this game is, a stop like that was right on point. Now here's Tatum. He's coming off a 28-point game against Cleveland. And how about the job he did rebounding as well, guys? I mean, just a dominant performance on the glass. Now, here's Junior following the miss by Al Horford. Junior, the pass to Green. Feeds it to Levine. Pass to Junior. Good work defensively by Horford. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D, avoided fouling, and got in perfect position to alter that shot. The Bulls leading by three. There's Levine. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. A strong man. Levine fights for the bucket and is rewarded with one more. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Levine wound up shooting 85 from the line a season ago, which is an exceptional percentage. Free throw good, Levine. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's White. Seven points in the game. Not happening with that shot. He's put up five and made two. 
And this has been an outstanding display on the board. And it's a big part of why they have a lead in this game. Doing the dirty work down low. Outside, smart. And they get it. Vucevic with the rebound. Vucevic has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Green kicks to Levine. Now, here's Junior. Guarded by Smart. Colinari with the steal. White, wide open. He fires. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Derrick Tatum's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. It's Chicago with another bucket. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Passes to White. Outside, smart. Rebound by the Bulls. They've led by as much as 10. When this game is done, they'll be off to take on the Raptors. That will conclude their brief two-game road trip. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Now, here's Smart. 10 points for him. Over Junior. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Vucevic has got rebound number eight now on the night. Here's Green. And the layup's good off the glass. And now an 11-point Bulls lead. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. That's a great possession. Put your best players in a position to succeed. And stolen by Junior. Deflects the pass. On the wing, Levine. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Inside, Junior. And goaltending is going to be the call. So they get the basket there anyway. Yeah, that's a tough call. I'm not sure it was on the way down, but that's that's how they saw it. Jalen Brown's checked in for Boston. And Chicago also making a switch. Progic has checked in. Celtics trail by 13. Outside, smart. Tatum on the wing. Boston again missing. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Green dishes to Junior. Back to Green. And it's Green with the jam. And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. They've played fantastic ball, and you can feel the hush that's come over this crowd. Now a timeout called by Boston. Richard, you were part of a Cavs team that came back from three games to one down in the NBA Finals to win the title. Remarkable. Just how hard was that to do? Good shape with a 23-point lead at the end of the quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. And we'll be back with you shortly. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. You look at Junior in this game, he's been everywhere. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. But I don't think that that's the most important thing to him. Sure, putting up big numbers doesn't hurt, but he's all about getting the win over everything else. So for Chicago right now, 
Levine and DeRozan, the lethal wing pair. Green is out there with Vucevic, and it's Junior in at the point. Gallinari wide open, and it's off from three-point range. The Bulls leading by 23. Levine passes to Junior, and the shot is good. 25 points for Junior. Because he draws so much attention on offense, the D, look, they're going to have problems with Levine, and it opens up some great passing lanes for him. And that was another look at the fantastic Mobile One drive that happened a moment ago. And it's plays like that, Kevin, that show you why they are so far ahead. Didn't settle for anything outside and went right to the rim. Such a wide open look. Smart's got 13. And, of course, this is Smart's biggest hurdle. Sometimes he looks great shooting a three. Sometimes, though, it's just the opposite. Now, here's Junior. He's covered closely. Good work defensively by Javante Smart. Green. And there's the call on Javante Green. That'll be his second foul of the game. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. Jason Basket counts. Tatum. That's now eight points for Jason Tatum. Once Tatum's around the contact, it's Celtics over. Ball. A little room, just a little is all that's needed for him to score. First, first, first trip to the free throw ball. line for him in this first one. Ball. Really a, a good season for him overall Shooting last Richard year. Hugo. Look at the number, 83% from the line. Both free throws good from Green. Celtics have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Smart kicks to Gallinari. Pass to Tatum. Outside, Horford. In the corner, Smart with it. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. The Bulls leading by 22. Here's Junior. The shot's Number good on the assist by Vucevic. Junior's got 27 points. And when you're a high-usage player like Vucevic, you have to keep your head up and be willing to make the next pass. From deep, Gallinari. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Junior's got seven rebounds in the game. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. He's got 29 points. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. And there's the pass to Brown. Tatum on the wing. Pass to Gallinari. Five on the clock. And that one is off. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Vucevic trying to get open, Number and another hit, shot made once more from Junior. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on body. Brown outside, good on the three-point shot. Brown's got seven points. They've given up a lot of three-pointers here today. Little under two and a half minutes off the clock now here in the third. On the wing, DeRozan to the paint. And Junior with the basket on the assist from DeRozan. 33 points for Junior. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Gallinari finds Smart. Back to Gallinari. Round against Levine. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Levine. It's on Zach Levine. And Jalen Brown is such a force on the offensive end. Hard to keep that guy out of the paint. Terrific finisher at the rim. And maybe the only weakness for Brown is his handle on the ball. And it's something that he's worked on every offseason. Still, though, susceptible to turnovers while dribbling. That's one of the very few weaknesses in his game. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. Smart kicks to Gallinari. On the wing, Brown. In the corner, Horford with it. The shot's good, Brown making the play. Brown's got five assists in the game. 
and perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Number Teams putting 19. a larger emphasis on jacking up threes. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Eight points for him. And inside the paint really is where Horford goes to work. Still athletic enough and, and really makes it look easy. Down low and slam dunk by Vucevic. Chemistry at its best. An unreal alley-oop. Yeah, the, you're right. The pass, the catch, the dunk. All of it perfect. For Boston, they've gone 5 of 9 on field goal attempts since halftime. Kalinari on the wing. Smart passes to Brock. And the foul called on Junior. That is his first foul of the game. So Celtics foul. making a switch here. Mike's checked in. Now into the lineup for the Celtics. They double him with Junior. Inside Horford. Six on the shot clock. White inside. headed by Levine. And it's White missing. For Chicago, they've gone 8 of 10 shooting here in the second half. Very strong. They get it again. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. How frustrating for the defense. You get the stop, but then fail to block out. And you can see them just deflate after giving up that score. And they know that they can't dig themselves out of this hole if they're allowing second-chance points. Passes it to Tatum. Celtics passing it around. Three-pointer. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got his sixth assist on the night. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. Inside, Junior drops in the layup for two. Junior's got 39. He is getting everything he wants. The defense is seemingly powerless to slow him down. It's sad. Back to Smart. Rebounded by Vucevic. Vucevic has got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one of the strikes. Substitution changes. Jason Tatum comes in for Al Horford. And Smart subbed in for Grant Williams. Chicago also making some changes. Vucevic checked in for Drummond. DeRozan comes in for Dosumu. And Junior subbed in for Ball. Out out there with Derek White. Then there's Jason Tatum. Then it's Marcus Smart. And it's Brogdon in at the shooting guard. That's the Boston Five. Here's Junior. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Junior's got 41. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? Yeah, just keep feeding him. That guy is a man on a mission. And the defense, well, they don't have much of an answer. Green against Brown. Pass to White. Back to Brown. Here he goes. And Brown throws it down. Carving up the defenders like a surgeon. Brown is gifted at getting all the way to the rim. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Now, here's Junior. Guarded by Smart. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. And there's Brown. That's good on the assist by Tatum. Tatum's got five assists tonight. And so far, Brown has been dialed in and is showing no signs of letting up. 
Now, here's Junior. Guarded closely. Hey, DeMar, DeMar, DeMar. And player nicknames are a fun part of covering the game. Now a lot of guys, GA, are just going with their initial, like KD, or AD, or KG. No foul. Do we need more creativity? I don't know, Kevin. Maybe the league could give guys a cash bonus for picking a nickname and initials excluded. That might spark some creativity. Catching up now on the changes for Chicago. Bradley's checked in for Javante Green. Jones comes in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's Alex Caruso in for Zach Levine. And slam dunk by Vucevic. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for Chicago. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And so with this win, they'll move to six victories on the season. And with this win now, we're all square, one and one. Two more games yet to come in what's proving to be a very competitive season series. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Junior. He was extremely efficient offensively, got good looks, and really knocked down big shots all game long. Derek White's checked in for Brogdon. And Vucevic throws it down. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moments. They put this game away in style. Too long in the paint. He's hit with a three-second violation. Boston ball. At the line for your Celtics. And so he hits the technical free throw. There's 39 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Lehman, defended by Jones. Lehman kicks to Williams. Hits it from three-point range. Williams. It's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. It's a shame, really. If they've been playing like this last quarter, they might be in a different situation right now. And another assist Nicole. for him. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Now the pass to Hauser. Shoots. Again, the Celtics good for two. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. Junior with it, working on Williams, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Shooting for Chicago. And he makes both free throws. Eight seconds left to play in the final quarter. Outside, White. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. See you next time.
Great win and a stellar performance from you tonight. Are you encouraged by how you played? Yeah, you know, we, wanted, we didn't want to give this game away, so I took it upon myself to make sure we didn't. You know, at this point, there are no excuses. It's time to put up or shut up, and there are no moral victories in this league. And you got the win tonight in large part because of your scoring. Mm -hmm. What did you see in the defense tonight that really made you salivate? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, they were guarding me one-on-one -on -one for the most part of the game. You know, that's a joke. Maybe they haven't heard yet, but they better send two and hope that works. But it probably won't. <laughs> well, you don't lack for confidence, that's for sure. Congratulations.